So, you know I said I was going to be on this bitch at 9. But, like I said, I have some technical difficulties. Um, damn, it's my first time doing this shit for my phone. But yeah, so, first time doing this for my phone. I guess we just going to roll with it. Like I said, um, computer restarting right now. My my webcam wasn't working, so I was like, all right, I'm going to restart the computer. Restart the computer. Shit not working. So, anyway, I'm going to just do it off my phone because the computer restarting. And um, it ain't going to be long, probably like 10, 15 minutes at the most. If y'all got any questions, ask any questions. If y'all got any statements, fuck it. I don't care. I, I want all the smoke. Oh, yeah, yeah, this right here is the unreleased Large J. Or well, this is the Lover Boy T, actually. Um, this is dropping soon, largeclothing.company. So, some unreleased shit right there for y'all. What's good, what's good, cuz? But, um, yeah, so pretty much, this is why I feel like the Democrats... I'm good, how you doing? This is why I feel like the Democrats ain't no good for the black party. No, I mean, we need our own black party, to be honest. We, we need our own political party. If you want to go that route, if y'all feel like going that route... That's what niggas need, because the Democrats ain't it, the Republicans ain't it, none of these niggas ain't it, nah, because they they done shown us what they is, and I'm going to tell y'all why I voted for Trump and all that, but the point I'm making is, right now we talking about the Democratic Party, so the point I want to make with that is, we've been giving out way too, the, the, the black race has been giving out way too much, just been putting out for the Democratic Party for the last 70 years, just giving the pussy away for free. Why the fuck are y'all doing that? Why are y'all just giving the pussy away for free for 70 years, ain't getting nothing in return, and then be looking crazy when the damn Democrats don't do nothing? That's not conducive for, for a good relationship. All right, look at it like this. If you a nigga and you got a bitch, you know, you want her. She, she, she bad. You know, she quality, but she just give it to you. Everything off, off the rip, off top. You know, you ain't got work for nothing. Ne- indefinitely type shit you know you you getting everything what, what's the point of, what's the point of cuffing her what's the point of wifing her what's the point of doing anything beyond the bare minimum like talking nice to her every now and then just to get the pussy you know cause really there's no point you're already getting what you want you know for, for, for most niggas some niggas might want a little bit more but most niggas only want the pussy you know I'm gonna just keep it real initially at least so that being said, okay, why why we been doing it for the Democratic Party? All right, let me see if I can go. Oh, why he wanted to did that? Cause the nigga ain't do that in the eight years he was with Obama. The nigga, wait, let me, oh shit, let me see if I look a little bit more official. Fuck it, the mic ain't even on. But fuck it, we just had a mic right here. The point I'm making is this nigga in eight years he was with Obama ain't do shit. In eight years he was with Obama, he ain't put no no tax cuts for the, out for the niggas. He ain't do none of that. He ain't, you know... A, a matter of fact, I think they was damn lowering taxes for the damn... For the companies and shit. They was making new loopholes for them. But if uh, correct me if I'm wrong. As far as I know, they didn't lower my taxes when, when in the eight years that nigga Obama was in office. He didn't lower my motherfucking taxes. But I do know when Trump got in office, my tax bracket, I was in the damn 25% tax bracket at the time. Shit dropped my shit down 22%. Nigga dropped 3% off my tax. This is like 2017. I know that much. And I ain't even fuck with Trump at the time. But I remember vividly. I'm like, shit. That extra 100 something, whatever, $200. That shit, I appreciated that shit. I was like, hey, appreciate the tax cut, Trump. I ain't even fuck with the nigga at the time. But I do remember that. So on top of that, let me just. Right. Um, Joe Biden and the Democrats wouldn't even meet with us. They wouldn't even, let me see if I can find someone and prop this shit up. Because I know it's like doing a lot of shaking right now. But um, this nigga wouldn't even fucking meet with us. This nigga wouldn't even meet with Ice Cube. Wouldn't even try to discuss power, the, the you know, powernomics plan that he had came up with with Dr. Clyde Anderson and all of them other, you know, great black figures and all that. But the Democrats was like, nah, we're going to wait till after the election. And then Trump them met with the nigga. Trump them met with Ice Cube. They listened to the plan. They was, you know, trying to figure out, you know, ways that they can incorporate pieces of the plan into what they was doing. And it was, you know, whether you, regardless of whether you think it was genuine or not, they did it when the, nobody else would. And you got to look at that. You got to respect that. And you got to 
I, I ain't even saying you gotta appreciate the shit, but just acknowledge the shit. Just acknowledge it, you know, because niggas act like just because the Democrats is blue, hey, Democrat, vote Democrat, I'm a Democrat, woo, woo, Democrat, fuck it. But no, we gotta look at shit from a damn analytical standpoint and realize that we gotta look out for us first, because ain't nobody, niggas ain't never looked out for us. Let's, let's just keep it real. We always been at the bottom. So what the fuck? What's the point? What we got to lose? You know, we need to start using our, our bargaining chips or something. Shit, fuck it. Oh, man. <laughs> this nigga lied to say I put on some car back. Nigga, fuck you. But, um, hey, um, what's I about to say? We we got to damn try to figure out ways we can goddamn, and I think that's the light. You know, you see the light from the damn lamp over there. Hit my shit. But, yeah. So, anyway, we got to figure out what the fuck going on with our people on some internal shit. We got to come up with our own black party. We got to come out with our own, um solution to the problem. We can't just wait on them to fix our shit because they ain't never fixed it and they, they never fixed it and they never will. The thing about Trump is Trump actually has done more than a lot of recent presidents for black people because they don't do shit for black people normally, but this nigga did the HBCU shit. You know, he, like I said, he cut my taxes and a lot of other black people taxes too because he still cut the lowest tax bracket, um, taxes and all that too. I'm shit. I'm back in the lowest tax bracket now too. Uh, one of the lower tax brackets. So, you know, don't look at me like I'm, I got it like that. I'm broke too, you know. So, but yeah, um, anyway, the point I'm making is this nigga Trump actually is not that bad of a guy. He just damn says shit. He, he kind of he like me. And that's, that's another reason why I can understand him more now, even though I feel like I hated him four years ago like everybody else. Because I say a lot of shit that come off wrong. I say a lot of shit that come off insensitive sometimes or you know indifferent but really I really I really be meaning well I don't really ever get online and just be trying to like talk shit and demean people I really be trying to like um my nigga Javon Clark shout out to him aggressive self help that's what he call it he gonna talk some shit to your ass but he keeping it real with you cause he love you and he, at the end of the day for unfortunately for a lot of niggas that's the only way somebody gonna break through their ass is just to sit there and dog them out and talk shit and tell them the truth because it's not enough truth in this world. There's too many lies. It's too many, you know, it's too many fakes out here. It's too, too much ass kissing. Look at, look, look at Kamala Harris and, you know, her fake laughs and, you know, her talking about she was listening to Tupac in college when she was in college in the eighties and shit like that. Like just, just be yourself at the end of the day. I can't even trust these politicians cause they're not even being themselves. They're not even keeping it real with themselves. How, how the fuck I think, or I'ma think they gonna keep it real with me, and they can't even keep it real with themselves. You know, she can't even keep it real with herself and say she ain't, Tupac wasn't even a fucking rapper when she was in college. You know, she got a lot of the people and shit. So, pretty much that's pretty much the whole point with that. But um, it's, it's a few more. When was the last time you can think of a Democrat actually coming up with a plan for black people or even geared towards black people? You can't because. Why? Like I said, we've been giving the pussy away for free for 70 years now. We don't gotta, they don't gotta do nothing, you know? And, um, this nigga Obama did shit for gays. He, he legalized gay marriage. He did the Dreamers Act. You know, he did shit for Hispanics and immigrants and all that. But what did he do for us? And that's, pr that's pretty much where I'm coming from. I don't really, I don't really get too involved in the politics no more. Because I'm looking at shit from a whole different standpoint. I'm I'm not in the left. I'm not on the right. I'm not even in the middle. I'm way off in the corner. So I mean, I really don't have no 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 horse in this race. And y'all y'all should feel the same way. You know, not trying to persuade y'all. I'm just trying to get y'all to understand that y'all need to go for what's best for for y'all. You know, y'all don't need to just be yelling Democrat, Democrat, Democrat. Y'all need to be like, okay, who got the best plan for me? Because shit, if you rich, you know, if you got a lot, if you a nigga with some money, you might want to vote for a damn Republican. You might want to fuck around and be a Republican because Republicans. Look out for motherfuckers with money, you know. So, <laughs> and that's 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 all I'm saying. You know, you need to look out for yourself. Hey, like I said, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. Not an Independent, Green Party. I'm not none of that shit. You know, I'm unaffiliated. If, you know, if you want to talk definitions, but yeah, I, I just I feel like um, wait, what you say? Um, this nigga Sean said Trump a businessman, and that's how he running the country. My bad, I don't know, I, just, I just went on the rant right now, but um, he got good and bad, just like everybody else. He blunt with it also. 
And that's what I'm saying. Like, he just, he keep it real and shit. Like, you can't hate on that man for damn just keeping it real. Because, I mean, it's not enough of that nowadays. That's why the white folks gravitated to his ass so hard when he came out. I didn't understand it at first, but it's, now I understand the shit came full circle. Because it's like, ain't, don't no politicians keep it real. Don't none of these niggas keep it real. Even Obama. That nigga did not keep it real. He was out here bombing Syria. He was out here fucking up Libya. He killed Gaddafi, who was actually the top nigga in Africa doing his thing at the time, trying to start the damn, um, you know, the, 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 the African central currency, like on some Euro shit, but for Africa. And Gaddafi was spearheading all of that. But Obama came through, you know, the propaganda machine, start pumping. Next thing you know, they bombing the fuck out of Syria. They bombing the fuck out of Libya. You know, Somalia fucked up, all this shit going on. And it's like, Obama's the president, you know. And Trump actually came th- came in and cleaned a lot of shit up. He, don't get me wrong, he's not no saint. But he cleaned up a, a lot of shit. He, he, he diffused the shit with North Korea. He started some shit with Iran again. But he diffused the shit with North Korea. And North Korea, we've been we, on edge with them for the last 10 years. Niggas thought we was about to go to war with them. And then Trump came in. He went and shook hands because they both crazy as fuck. So it was like, that, that relationship probably works, you know? But um, Obama couldn't do that. Obama was scared of that nigga. And so, at least from what we thought. But I need to sit this fucking phone down. My damn arm getting tired. But, um, man, let me see. I think I'm about to turn this shit. You know if y'all can still hear me. If y'all can't hear me. Um, yeah, that nigga served Gaddafi up on a motherfucking platter. But, um... So, yeah, this nigga, Sean said, facts, bro, he put more money, he put more money out here than any other president, Trump the plug, and Jeronica said, serve Gaddafi on a platter, now, yeah, so, like I said, um, everybody, uh, all presidents is gonna have problems, you know, so you, you gotta learn to look at shit from a more analytical standpoint and stop being emotional, because that's what Democrats, they, they do, they play on our emotions, because, um, you know, we, we emotional creatures, uh, and, and, um, like I said, <laughs> and, and another gem from Javon, follow, like, follow that man, yo, cause, um, he from the county, if, if you from the county watching this shit, follow Javon Clark and shit, that nigga be talking the same type shit, but he got hundreds of videos, I'm sure, at this point, he be on YouTube, if, um, Facebook Live, but, it, but, um, fuck was I about to say, oh, yeah, 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 he was saying that, um, Black people got this, this this single black mother mentality, and the reason why we are so fucked up now is because because we got that single mother black menta- uh, that single mother mentality where you know motherfuckers can just tell us anything and and do anything, and we still running back to them at the end of the day because we dependent on them. You know, it's, it's, it's dependency relationship is a co it's not a codependent relationship, it's a dependent relationship. They don't need us, we need them. But, you know, it's like, damn, like, I, we ain't got to make it so obvious. We ain't got to damn, you know, be using all of the damn government assistance programs just because they're there. We, we, we don't, just because we can get by on our motherfucking jobs don't mean we shouldn't be working to start a business on the side or learning shit in our free time, you know, getting knowledge itself and shit. Like, that's what I'm saying is it's the complacency. It's the damn, that's the problem. You know, we we, we get on this motherfucking internet, we get on this Facebook shit, we get on this YouTube, whatever, we get on all of this shit every day, and, and show how fucking complacent we are as a people, with the, by, with the shit we talk about, with the fucking moves we make, with the fucking money we spend, with the shit we pay attention to, it's not worth it, none of this shit is worth it, we wasting too much fucking time, wasting too much energy, wasting too much money on bullshit. And I don't know where that came into this mes- message, but <laughs> I felt like that was that was necessary. Y'all needed to hear that. So, yeah, um, we definitely keep that in there. But because of that, I feel like that's the main, that's the foundation of our problem is the complacency as a people. We don't see no wrong with the shit we do. We don't see no wrong with the shit we say. We don't see no wrong with the activity we encourage with the way we raise our kids and shit and, just, and the way we let the the media raise our kids like it's 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 much more out there than than what than what you're seeing you know 
you need to be exposing your kids to a lot more. You need to be teaching your kids a lot more. You need to be spending time with your kids. You need to be, you know, really like cultivating them to be everything that they they should want to be as a person or everything that can make them realize their full potential, you know? And instead of just putting slapping a motherfucking tablet in their hand and telling them to watch YouTube so they, you know, not bothering you. You know, what are you what are your kids like? What are they what are they, you know, interested in? What are what is their passion? You know, you need to find what out what that is and cultivate it and and, and let them grow, you know? And th- that's what I'm doing now as a fucking adult. I was doing it all my life, I feel like, but I'm really now that I'm adult and I got free time and and, and money, you know, and resources. I take that and I cultivate myself. I, I grow. I grow every day. I try to learn every day. I'm trying to learn every day. You don't learn is the day you don't live. So, basically, I feel like that's the foundation for us getting out of this situation and being better and knowing better than to just trust a Democrat just because they're a fucking Democrat. Because I didn't before I started doing all of this knowledge of self, learning all of this knowledge of self. I didn't think nothing of it. I was just like, oh, Democrats, because they say nice shit to black people. Obama was black. He's a Democrat. He's the first black president. And the Democrats don't say racist shit. And they don't try to, you know, lower the taxes for the rich. And they try to lower the taxes for the poor. And, yeah, it's like all this regular, regular, degular talking point bullshit. I watched CNN for eight years straight from when I was motherfucking 15 years old up until I was 23, 24. I watched CNN every fucking day. That was where my TV stayed on. You know how most niggas keep their TV on ESPN and shit like that? I kept my TV on CNN and I I switched it to other channels when I needed to, you know, when shit came on. And so I... I know all this shit, nigga. I don't, you ain't telling me nothing. I know Wolf Blitzer and John King and all these motherfuckers and how they do and what they talk about. I used to fuck with Anderson Cooper, you know? Like, it's just now I know better. I know so much more now. That motherfucker CNN can't tell me shit I don't already know because most of that shit fake news anyway. But that's a whole nother conversation. Like I said, motherfuckers, the, the media got you brainwashed. Now you hit a word, the phrase fake news, you, you probably tuning out because... You think I'm talking bullshit when really the media has always been fake news. The media has always been fake, full of shit, literally falsified. Like they falsify stories, they falsify events, they false flag events. I don't even want to start naming off events right now because my shit might fuck around and get banned or something. But the point I'm, I'm, I'm making is you, this is all public information, verifiable information. You can get up and see a lot of these mass shootings, a lot of these bombings. A lot of these terrorist attacks were fabricated and they were staged. Some of them were staged, some of them were real, but even when the ones that were real were staged by the government. And, you know, you, you know and see, you see, I'm down, got shit, viewers dropping off and shit, and I didn't went too deep on niggas. But what the point I'm making is that shit like that ain't got nothing to do with no Democrat or Republican. Shit like that is just got to do with, that's a government problem. And that's why I don't really put no trust into the government. That's why I voted for Donald Trump. Because I don't give a fuck at the end of the day. All this shit is corrupt. All this shit is bullshit. But I know that it, I would rather have Trump than Biden. I would rather have a damn devil that's going to keep it real with me. The devil that's going to show me the devil and tell me he's the devil. And let me know he's coming. But so, rather than the devil that is going to just um, smile in my face and make me think everything is okay. And then as soon as I turn around, he stabbed me in my fucking back. That's Joe Biden. That's Joe Biden, the nigga that did the 94 crime bill, the nigga that said you ain't black if you don't vote for him, the nigga that said that all black people think alike and Hispanics are more diverse. Yeah, I did. so that's why I ain't really fucking with none of these niggas. And I see it, honestly, I see it as all as a joke. I was going to vote for Kanye at first if I did vote. A girl made me. Go with her and vote and shit. She, she didn't want to go by herself. So I figured I, if I'm going to go with her to vote, I might as well vote. But then when I got in the line, and it's just, I'm going to end this story with this today. This, this is crazy. And this is this relates all perfectly back to what the fuck I was saying. I get in the line to vote. We in that damn line for like 30 minutes. We get close to the front of the line to vote. And as soon as we get there, it's this um 
Well, we were still like three, four people behind. But it's this black lady, this middle-aged black lady at the pole thing working there. And she was like, what you, what you doing with that, um, with that Trump flyer? Because I had the Republican candidate information in my hand and I had the Democrat candidate information in my hand. Whenever they came by passing out information to the people in the lines, I took it. Because I was like, all right, well, I at least should be as, as informed as I can about the motherfuckers I'm about to vote for, you know, since I'm already here. But... My thing is, they, the the lady just single hand singled out the the fact that she saw some Trump shit in my hand, and was like, "What you doing with that Trump shit?" I'm like, and, and in my head, I'm like, "This bitch got the audacity." I'm like, <laughs> in my head, because she older black lady, I ain't want to disrespect her. I'm like, this bitch got the audacity to damn question me. Who she don't know me from a can of paint? She don't know nothing about me or my life or what I'm about, or what I stand for, or nothing. But she just gone chastised me for having a damn Trump or a Republican. Not even she. I don't even know if she saw the Trump. She just saw the Republican red and all of the, the Republican shit. She, 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 she was really like questioning me about that shit, trying to check me while I'm in the line in front of all these people. And I didn't want to disrespect her and embarrass her. So I was just like, yeah, you know, you, um, you got to stay informed. And, and I just left it at that, you know. But then I whispered, I whispered to my girl afterwards. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely about to vote for Trump. Fuck that bitch, like, cause shit like that just is uncalled for, and that's the that's that type of mindset I'm talking about. That's the exact mindset I'm talking about. That's so fucking destructive for our people. Because why why do we feel, do we feel the need to them chastise other people for who they voting for or just the down or just try to bully them into voting for who the fuck you want to vote for. It used to be just be vote, go vote, go vote, vote or die, whatever. Now it's go vote, go vote. If you don't vote, uh, you know, what the fuck? You ain't shit. The ancestors um, disowning you. The ancestors died for our right to vote. First of all, the ancestors died for a lot of shit and voting was pretty, I'm pretty sure it was low on that fucking list. But that's a whole nother story. The point I'm making is why do we feel like we have to just ha- have this mindset where it- it's all Democrat or nothing. And I I feel like it's, it's, it's worse than the Republicans. Republicans will never do no shit like this. Like, y'all, y'all don't see how hypocritical y'all is. Y'all talking about Republicans and all of this shit and what they do. But y'all go and bully people to vote. Just, you know, a certain, just because you want them to vote your way. Like, if a motherfucker said, if you was talking to a motherfucker and you was like, go vote, go vote, vote, exercise your right, vote, you need to vote, what the fuck, you ain't vote, you're in America. And, um, and the person was like, all right, well, I, all right, I guess, I'm going to vote for Trump, though. Like, what the fuck, you ain't going to want them to go and vote then, you, is you? You're you going to shut the fuck up then, ain't you? You're going you gonna to keep telling them to vote? Most people ain't. they just going to be like, oh, well... I don't, mm, what you, Trump, like, and then they're going to try to go into a whole spill about why you shouldn't be voting for Trump, like, we ain't all been hearing the same shit for the last four years from the news and shit, I don't even watch the news no more, but I know exactly what the fuck they saying, because I, I, it's it's all rehearsed, it's a fucking script, at this point, it's always been a fucking script, that's why all the local news channels sound the same, you can get on YouTube, see videos, all the different local channels across the country saying the same shit on the same day, the same exact story, same line, same cadence, everything. They just scripting every fucking thing on the news. Even the local news is scripted. Motherfuckers are hearing the same shit niggas in Idaho is hearing. What the fuck? You don't, and you don't, see, you don't see nothing wrong with that. I get I get emotional talking about this shit sometimes. You might hear me getting choked up a little bit because this shit means a lot to me. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with y'all. Like, for real. We got to sit here and think about what the fuck we've been doing as a people all these years. We ain't got nowhere politically. Nowhere. Obama ain't do shit for us. He never was going to do shit for us because he was always one of them. That nigga's George, he is George W. Bush's cousin. He's in the family. Trump wasn't in the family. Trump was an outsider. He was a billionaire nigga that just came in and motherfucking shook shit up. And that's why they were so scared of him. And I'm not I'm not even saying Trump is the fucking solution. Because I don't think he is. He's still part of the problem. I just think he was from a different clique. They is all in one big gang. Trump was from another gang. But they still all fucking gangbangers. We still the motherfucking victims. You feel me? 
Alright, so I think that's uh yeah, I think that's about it. It's enough for y'all niggas. So um if you like this shit, let me know you like it. Leave a comment, share it, I don't know what the fuck, like it, whatever. Follow me on YouTube, look me up, Large Seven on YouTube. I think I'm about to start doing more shit like this. Let me know if you wanna hear more shit like this, cause um yeah, fuck it. I mean, this is the least I can do. If y'all want it though, I ain't about to just do, be doing this shit for no reason. So, yeah. Alright, I'm out.